Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Flat Top County in Transport Fever 2. Right, we're sitting here at Bayview. Yeah, and Bayview Heights. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a place where we put a train station last time. Right, okay, so what I, I want to do here is, uh, well, I think realistically... I want to get a uh, a bit of a local transportation network in place. That's what I'm 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 aiming for. Uh, in particular, I want to get uh, some uh, uh, trams or something bringing uh, bringing passengers up to the central train station here, and maybe uh, a link in between these two uh, bits here. And then maybe do something here about Bayside, right? Uh, Bayside looks like it's uh, kicking along here with no no especially significant help from anything, right? Uh, and it's because the towns are connected. Now, I'm thinking uh, what I probably want to do is renewing some streets here. Maybe. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to leave that as it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I want to do is uh, is find out what the... Um, um, no, it's in here. Uh, what the, not destinations, land use? Yeah, land use. Uh, find out what the land use uh, uh, bits are. So, uh, if you're not aware, uh, passengers start in the residential area, which is uh, over here, and then they'll travel to either the industrial or the uh, commercial area, and then back to the residential area. So what what I want then I suppose is a station say somewhere in here a station somewhere in here and a station somewhere in here and probably a ping pong back and forth route or something like that and uh, realistically I also want a a line that connects this station here with all of this if possible uh, and that will that will allow, uh, you know, the, the train traffic to come in, right? And also the traffic that goes through the train station to uh, come out in Bayview uh, Heights, right? So that's the, the theory. Now, I haven't tried, uh, you know, this type of setup uh, before. I usually just, you know bash th things in and let the uh, passengers sort themselves out and transfer and so on. But I think it's worth it in this this build to go ahead and try to do this better so that uh, more traffic can be reduced on the on the roads. Now looking at this here, it looks like we have residential up to here and over here. Uh, so I think I'm going to want two residential lines and uh, but I, I think I can run one line up this road here and, and uh, catch pretty much everything. So let's just take a look at what, what our coverage is. Okay, so it's this intersection is or around here is our cut point. Okay, turn that off so you can see the... Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to need uh, more than one, uh, one station here. So, I'm going to need one of these here. Oh. Uh, put one of them here. Uh, one of them here. You know what? This actually looks like it will work out okay. Uh, this one covers that, so it'll catch... Okay. So, if I were to put a station here... Ah! Now, if I was to put a station here then I can catch the 
the cross traffic business here, but uh, this road setup is terrible. Uh, so I'm going to do something about that. Uh, bring that up like that. Uh, bring this up like that. Yeah. What if I bring this in like that? Nah. Uh, let the town figure that out. Now, if I go back to here, I can put this here. Okay, so we'll get a, a uh, we'll get a connection point, a, like a transfer point here. Um, but I, th hmm, you know what? I'm gonna run this line. Wait, uh, I could run this line down this way and put a, a put a station here and one here, and then I could run it out this way as a loop. So put it here, and it'll sort of connect there, and then put one here, and here. Yeah. Maybe. Here? Or here? Here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll run that as a loop. And then we'll have the, uh, the, the Crosstown one here. Which can also cross town into here, ultimately, if I, if I, I want to. Yeah! Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do there. So, I want to add uh, the tram track business here. Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, that seems like a plausible setup. Yeah, and if I connect this road here, I could run the run the line through down this way. Uh, ultimately, is I think I'd run a line down kind of snaky like that over in Bayview Heights anyway, uh, and maybe. Put a junk like a connection point here with a point to point one that comes out like that something like that anyway right so now i'm going to need a depot where am i going to put it yeah that is a question isn't it where am i going to put it if i put it in a strategic location yeah you're not going to put it in a strategic location you don't even know what that means. Actually, kind of right. I don't know what it means here. Um, put it down here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if I put it here... Yeah, I can... Do that. Okay. Street. Connect. Yes. Uh-huh. Whoops. Uh, tools. Uh, we're going to go and own that one. Yeah. Why do I put it there? Because then we don't ever get a traffic light. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I think it's cooler that way. Uh, really, that's the reason. So, I'm going to buy some trams here. Now, the Toronto one does 50k and carries 18 passengers. And that, I think, is... I think that's about right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll buy... 
Well, I want to put two or I want to say put three going in each direction on the loop. And I'm going to put three on each line, so I'm going to need nine of those. So we'll grab three of those and we will do a new line, which uh, I guess we'll start with this one. Uh, yep, yeah, I need to electrify the uh, thing going into the the thing, right? Um, okay, so this is Bayview Crosstown. Yeah, Crosstown. Okay, and now we go back in here, go in here, do this. There we go. So three of those are going, and now we will uh, add a line, and this is going to go this way. So this will be Bayview loop clockwise. <clears throat> yep. And we go in here, grab the other other ones, uh, new line, and this will go this way. Yep. Okay. And this is the Bayview loop counterclockwise. Uh-huh. So that should get uh that should get some passengers moving around in Bayview and connecting here. Now over in Bayview Heights, I need to do something to get uh get a connection up to the uh, station. So let's get back the uh, land use, residential, industrial, commercial. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, so you know what? This would actually work perfectly with a loop. It would. Residential, commercial, industrial going this way, and and then residential, industrial. Yeah, that would work perfectly with a loop. Okay. Uh, okay, now how am I going to connect this loop sanely? Okay, so we're going to come by. We're going to have a stop at the train station. Come around here. We'll have a stop in here. And I think we're going to need a stop over here, and we need to get up the hill there. Oh. Oh. Okay, that could be more problematic than I thought. Get a bendy road. Can we? No, we cannot get down that that hill. Okay. Well, let's grab the station. So here. Yeah, we definitely need a station over here, uh, down here. So this means that I, th I think, what does this mean? Uh, okay, can I get down the hill from there? Uh, yeah, I can get down the hill from there. Okay, so if I bring this road up like that, and this road up like that, okay, that allows me to complete the loop. Good, okay. Uh-huh. That is acceptable, I think. So the loop will come in around like this, up this road. Right. No, I want to come up over here, and then up around this... Yeah, okay, so I need another road in there. Uh-huh. 
So I need basically this road. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, build it. Yeah. Yeah, find the check mark and build it. Okay, yes. Um Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want the bendy road here. And then we'll come in like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something else. Uh, we're going to bendy in that way. And like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. Now put the stations in. Right. I need one here. Uh, I think I'll stick one here. Need one here. And here. And here. Don't need it going up the hill, but I'll definitely need one up here. And over here. And... Uh, probably need one coming down this way, but I don't know where. So I won't put it in yet. Okay. Now, I think that's all I need on this side. So... Uh... What is it? Uh, right. I, I want to tramify it. Right. Okay. So we come up this way. There we go. Yep. Uh, that's got a that's got a thing happening. Now I also need to connect it to the depot. There we go. So now what? Well, I grab more trams, right? Uh, that's going to be. Uh, I'm going to put four on each direction on this one. So we get a new line. And it's going to go this way. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be the Bayview Heights loop. Counterclockwise. Yep, counterclockwise. And then we go over here. And grab those. And now we're going to go clockwise. Yeah, okay. So this is the Bayview Heights loop clockwise. Okay. Now, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this one. And jump on board. No. We're going to grab this one and jump on board yep we're gonna up the tempo no we're not gonna up the tempo we're just gonna amble along through here and observe uh, as the tram here trundles along and heads off to Bayview Heights Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this will also reduce the traffic, but I see we've got uh, passengers waiting at the, the uh, tram stops already, and that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I've said it before, and I'll probably say it again. But the, the graphics in this game actually look amazing. Oh, there's a lot of warts in there that uh, you notice when you're, uh, when, once you've seen them, you can't unsee them. But the graphics are actually quite amazing. Uh, it, if you're not looking closely, the, the buildings feel uh, remarkably real. 
And look at that. There's rust on the 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 box there around the tree. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's rust anyway. Um, yeah, if that's a metal box, it's rust. If not, it's a weird paint job. But yeah, it's quite uh, quite impressive, really, uh, what they've accomplished. Like this is a small team that uh, put all this together, right? And they and it's a bespoke uh, engine, uh, from what I understand. So that's that's quite uh, that's quite impressive what they've accomplished. Now, of course, it will take uh, a lot more polish to uh, to get things to the point where I think they really should be. But I'm sure they'll they'll work on that. They're working on other important uh, issues currently, performance being one of them. But they haven't given up on the game yet, so uh, you know I give them credit for that too. No matter how much they get uh, pilloried in the. Uh, uh, in the, the community and, and everything, like with all the uh, uh, posts on Steam and whatever. They, 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 they never uh, communicate updates. Well, that's not really the case. And why are we just parked here? Why are we just parked here? Oh! Right, we're waiting for line spacing. I see. <clears throat> uh, this here, uh, the, the, what you see with the uh, sta stops there on the hill, that's one of the warts that they need to uh, fix. Is uh, Stuff like that. They need something that, uh, uh, you know, doesn't uh, build them into the ground or uh, make them float above it, right? Uh, and that's... Uh, that's something. It's probably harder to to sort out than it, than it looks, but it is something that they they need to do at some point. And that uh, uh, if, if they sorted out uh, the slopes, uh, the objects on slopes uh, thing, that would be uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, that would make the graphics way like even even more amazing. But you know, like even the sky box is uh, is pretty decent. With the ambient occlusion and everything, it, it, it feels like a real environment. Or it feels like it could be a real environment. And then the trees on the on the hill here, uh, on the mountain, uh, unless you look too closely, they, they look absolutely fine. Uh, you know, uh, you'll see uh, if you look closely, the trunks don't uh, go into the ground on a steep enough slope. But, yeah. Same with the floating uh, uh, signals, <laughs> you know, things like that. But uh, you know, I think I think this this uh, loop is going to work out. That is a hill. Yeah, that is a hill. Yeah, we won't be needing any stops on that hill. I hope. Okay, this was the one bit I wasn't sure was going to play out okay, you know, the, that intersection. It looks like it did well. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. And here we are on the bottom side of this loop. Yeah. I think everything's, uh, everything's uh, working out fine here. Although it is amusing when uh, construction starts happening and stuff just instantly does... Oh! <laughs> Why am I laughing? Did you see how that house uh, off to the right there uh, stretched into... Uh, stre just like... Um, uh, uh, uncompressed into, uh, into being. It just stretched out. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can get food, drink, and vegetables at uh, the, that uh, shop there. 
Uh, <laughs> so vegetables aren't food. <laughs> Cute. Look, it's a food shop. Yeah, that that was hilarious. Uh, food, drink, and vegetables. Yeah, or drinks, I guess it was. Right. Well, we got two passengers on board. That's uh, that's a thing. You know, it takes a little while for our new lines to bed in, and that that's fine. You know that 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 is. Uh, Perfectly acceptable, of course. I uh, think you would expect that to happen. Right. Now, um, around we go. And, yep, we're one more stop, and then we're back. We're around to the, the train, I think. Yeah. Get a view of the train station. You know what? That bridge going over the train station, I think that looks okay from this angle. Got the rock sticking out of the side of the hill there, floating rock, you know, might need to get rid of that. Yeah, might need to. No, oh, that looks fine from from this uh, from this angle. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think we need to do uh, any more observations here, but <clears throat> <clears throat> but I think um, our. Uh, this here uh, needs to be uh, changed to Bayview. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to need another train on here. Manage vehicles. Um, duplicate. Not enough money. How much do we need? Well, let's up the tempo. And see where we we end up. Um, right, not enough money. Not enough money. Well, that was a less less in the bank. Of course, it's not enough money. Um, right. How much? How much does it need? I wish it would tell you how much you needed uh, when it says not enough money. Uh, but we definitely need another train on this this line. Uh, probably two trains. Lots of dinging here as... Uh, well, I, I, I bet you these trams here are going to be uh, money makers, uh, ultimately. Not enough money. That's a train just come into our, our stop here. Not enough money. Oh, that was at uh, Bridgeport. Now it's uh, coming toward uh, Bayview. Right. Not enough money. What's this, a $20 million train? Well, it is... Well, it's bringing 88 passengers to, uh, to Bayview. So that's going to make a, uh, a dent in... Not enough money. Uh, that, <laughs> that's going to make a, a dent in the finances, isn't it? And then we get the trains making money at least. Not enough money. How much is this finances? Details. 
17 million. Okay, yeah, that's a... And that's a, a train that's a year old. Okay. Okay. So is it about 22 million or 23 million or something? Well, it took 95 passengers out of uh, Bayview. Uh, how many of them stop at Bridgeport? I don't know, but it will get there, and we'll see. We'll see what that uh, that does. Uh, the train is making money, though. Uh, 1.6 million positive, and now that it's probably going to be carrying full loads. Okay. No, it's not 22 million. Okay. Uh, so if I edit that, twenty four million. Okay. Okay. So I need twenty four million. Uh, next drop off should get it there. It's uh, three and a half million positive now. Right, heading to uh, Mesa View. Yeah. Yeah, I know that that wasn't going to do anything. Okay, with this drop-off, I think that should be enough. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a second train on there. Uh, that should double the profits, because now we've got 300 waiting there. So we need another two trains on here, I think. Um, but we'll, we'll put the second train on and see where we get. Now let's look in here uh, on the balance here. So we have bu a bus line. We have bus lines making money. Uh, we have a flatbed truck line making money. Cargo line. We have our trains making money. Uh, yeah, we have a load of, uh, of these uh, lines actually making money. Um, we have the, uh, some of the, uh, trams here in Bayview that aren't, but that's fine. Uh, the trains are basically going to be printing money, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a substantial bottleneck here. Uh, right. Now, as these towns uh, grow and, and sort themselves out, this is going to uh, this is going to require some uh, extensions to the uh, transport network. I, I, I foresee uh, ending up building a line that uh, uh, connects, you know, around uh, going around this way. Um, possibly extending this line around and down this way or something like around like this. Actually, can I get the road up to the top there? Just out of curiosity. Uh, Bendy Road is fine. Uh, with a cheeky tunnel, it can go up the hill. If I made it straight. Oh! You know what? I'm going to build that one. Yeah, uh, I like it. Yeah, uh, why am I building that? Just because. Uh, then I could run that line around here, down here, and across this way. I'm not going to just yet. 
But I can. Yeah. And it'll get some private traffic as well. And that's... Uh, that's definitely going to be helpful because, yeah, well, this is industrial up here, right? So uh, the residential down here would just, yeah, good. Well, uh, I think that's going to be enough for this episode. I, th you know, that I, I thought maybe I'd be doing uh, another project in another town, but I think this pretty much does it. Uh, that's. Uh, I think we can say this is a successful project over here. We're up to 15 million here uh, already. So if I call this back up, uh, the inner city line here is uh, 7 million positive now. Uh, and I think I can add at least two more trains on it and uh, bring that up to uh, 12 or 13 million probably especially if I get the transport working better at Bridgeport. Uh, but that's going to require renovating the towns, I think. Right. Uh, and these lines, like all of these lines will do better as there's more, uh, more traffic uh, coming through them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, we just had the uh, expenses go through on that one. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I uh, get another 24 million and, uh, you know, I can add another train on here. Uh, three trains might be enough, actually. Uh, but look, we're already hovering around 20 million in the bank, right? And I think I've got my money printer line. And that... Uh, that should allow me to do other uh, fancy stuff uh, around uh, towns, right? But I think I think I want to rebuild uh, the town layout at uh, Bridgeport. Yeah, at least on the train side of the river, uh, I want to rebuild that. Um, I'll have to take a look at it, but uh, I think I want to rearrange it a little bit. I definitely want to redo the transport in the towns so that there's uh, a transport line that goes across the river, right? And that just, just ping-pongs across the river. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know, that, that's, I, I think that's what I want to do. Like if we... Uh, oh. Um, Okay, that's got another train on that line. Uh, so yeah, I want a I want a line that um, <clears throat> connects across the river, uh, and just connects across the river. Uh, but also, uh, uh, since the train station is under the bridge here, like ideally, I'd li I'd like to connect directly from the train station across to uh, a terminal station over here. But uh, the reason the bridge is where it is, is to make the uh, river passable, right? So, uh, I'm not sure how I accomplished that, right? Uh, but I am happy with how this is set up. So, uh, I guess it'll come down to whether I... Uh, come up with some sort of scheme to put another bridge over the river or go under the river. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's going to be any better than going over it with the, the bridge. Uh, but uh, an underground train station, that, that might be, be a, a solution there. But anyway, uh, I'll have to investigate uh, uh, if I can get uh, some uh, a different uh, station uh, mod. I might be able to do what I what I want to do there uh, with an underground uh, linkage. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look for underground. Uh, oh, I could put a road connection underground there. Hmm. I could do that. If there's uh, 
if I can do an underpass business thing down to a underground road. I'll have to look for some mods, uh, which I'll probably forget to do. Anyway, uh, that's all for this this episode. Look, we're up to 10 million already uh, uh, in the bank. And yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to put the cut here. So uh, on the way out, I'll mention if for some bizarre reason you want to support the channel, uh, I have a Patreon. The link should be in the description. Uh, so you can use that if you want or don't if you don't. Yeah, it's just just do whatever you're going to do, right? And uh, I guess see you back next time.